hello everyone i hope you're all doing well thank you for tuning in this is mb today let's talk about binary binary recursive search algorithm with uh, python 3.7 all right so let me uh, brush up a few things first uh, last time what we discussed binary iterative search algorithm right so um in binary search algorithm what happens is you are given a sorted algorithm from left to right so you calculate you find out the midpoint here the midpoint is 14th and check whether the number that you're looking for in this case 7 whether it's greater or smaller the number that we are looking for 7 is less than uh, the midpoint so we know that in a sorted list it has to be to the left of this midpoint so now this midpoint is going to be our endpoint of search and uh, you know, uh, this was the, our uh, uh, and a start point. Now, so in this 14 and 6, 6, uh, 1 to 14, 6 is the midpoint again. We calculate the midpoint compared with the number that we're looking for, that is 7. And the midpoint is less than the number that we're looking for. So the 7 has to be to the right-hand side of 6. So now this midpoint, 6, is going to be our start point of search and 14 is going to be our end point of search and we calculate uh, we find the midpoint of 6 and 14 that is 8 8 is less than uh, i'm sorry 8 is greater than 7 so 7 has to be to the left hand side of 8 and to the right hand side of 6 so 6 is going to be our start point and is going to be uh, 8 is going to be our end point 7 is uh, the midpoint so we see that 7 the mid midpoint is uh, equal to the number that we're looking for that is number 7 and thus we conclude that the number 7 is part of this array or uh, the number 7 is an element of this array so how do you uh, do this with recursive binary search recursion is something where a function calls itself endlessly till it reaches a predefined conclusion right so let's define an array of range 9 uh, let's write a function define uh, bin rec uh, bin rec search an array is given start point is given end point is given num is the number that we want to search if not start less than end that means the array is not empty the start point shouldn't be less than end right return false yeah then the midpoint is going to be start plus end F floor division uh, by two why are we doing floor division because when we are calculating midpoint let's say then uh, there are seven elements and if i do two I get 3.5 that is not a midpoint uh, there's no like you know factorials here uh, so if I do this floor division I get a whole number our nearest whole number right so that's why then let's say if array mid uh, let me also do this print start end and mid right I just want to print so that now every time it runs uh, we will see a print on it and we will know what happened array mid uh, if the midpoint is less than the number that we are looking for then return the same function no, or let me just copy this right only the start point is going to be mid plus one right but what if what if right let me take this here the midpoint is greater than the number that we're looking for then this start point uh, will remain the same but instead we will have end point is going to be the midpoint right if that is not the case that is if start point is not less than the end point that is it is not empty and uh, we keep doing this till 
uh, we you know the start point is going to be less than the end point that means it is you know the 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 number that we're looking for is present right or you can also uh, do uh, another thing here if mid is equal to uh, the num right return true so the function ends that is actually the same as this right in this case so yep so here when we are saying actually saying you know the mid is not uh, the midpoint is not uh, greater than num midpoint is not greater than uh, less than num that means it has to be equal either a number is greater than some greater than another number less than another number are equal so in the third case we're just saying okay it's equal so returning true right here we go so let's go ahead and run this thing um, we have an array this is the array okay just for the sake of simplicity do it here array is this uh, zero is the start point a eight is the end point and seven is the number that we are searching So it says okay zero start point end point midpoint Okay, then start point end point midpoint Start point end point midpoint start point and now it's a uh, same. So yeah, it returns true in the next iteration Then what if it is not there? Uh, let me Do this let's me put nine here Obviously, it will print false because 9 is not there. If you just want to print this and want to know what it is, let me do this here. Yeah, this is what it is, right? So just to... Uh, what if we know that we can calculate uh, the start point and end point, right? Programmatically, if an array is given the length using the length uh, inbuilt function. So let's go ahead and uh, do that, right? Another... A recursive function then a different type though, uh, which takes only two inputs or needs two inputs uh, ser array num recurs start and end point so this is a parent function. This is a child function. Child function is going to take start and end point. And I'm going to calculate the midpoint here. Start plus end. Yeah. Floor division 2. And just for the sake of it, I'm going to print. Uh, well, let's print it out. Print. Mm, start. End. Mid. Yep. Then we want to do here is if not start less than end return false. I'm just making this statement one line eh? and then elif else if array mid is okay. Num if the midpoint is the number that we're looking for return true. Unlike, you know, uh, directly assuming that, you know, uh, here I'm writing this extra line of code, which is kind of not needed. We're going to see that later. Return lay, return true, else if, okay, third condition, if the midpoint is not equal to num, then it must be uh, smaller, right? So let's take this and I'm going to say less than, yeah. Return recurs mid plus one num, right? Uh, I'm sorry, end. So the start point is going to be the midpoint. Let me copy paste this. Take the third possibility that is midpoint is greater than the number that we're looking for. Then start point is going to remain the same, but end point is uh, going to be the mid point yeah so uh, the parent function is going to now run the re the child function recurs zero length of array 
minus one. As you can see, start point is always, uh, I mean, initially the start point of any array is zero. End point is length of the array minus one. As you know, if you are indexing, hmm, let's say a equals one comma two, right? And I wanna say length of a is two. But if I say a of zero, a of one, right, a of two is not there. So a of two is not there. So indexing starts from zero, counting starts from one. So that's why the end point is the length of the array minus one. Let's see whether it works or not, right? Here we go. Uh, in the array nine, 77 is not there, obviously. Is seven there? Yes. Let me try to do some thing else here for you. So here, I will remove this, right? And I will just come here and say else return true, yeah? And see what happens. So I'm gonna take the false part first. Okay, it returns false. I'm gonna take the one which returns True, right? Seven is within this range, right? If you're still confused, let me print that range. So seven is the member of it. It prints it out. 77 is not a member of it, and it will exclude that. So that's all I had for recursive binary search. Thank you for tuning in. You have a great one. Take care.